Hello everyone, welcome to a video on Medtronic. In this video, we will discuss on the latest update uh, 6.0.2 of Medtronic. In this update, we have significantly changed the file structure and we will go through with you guys what are the changes and where you can locate, where, where you can locate certain files and also how you can run your yarn and gulp. So first things first, let's have a look at our files. What we've done here is we've set up two Metronic versions. One will be 6.0.1, which is a direct uh, version right before the 6.0.2 update. And one and the, the other one will be the uh, version 6.0.2, which has the latest file structure. Um, right off the bat, we can already see the main difference where the previous version, we have uh, our design folder is basically called a PSD and sketch files where the latest version, you have the uh, everything is encapsulated into the design folder. Next would be if you go into our theme, everything still looks similar, but if you go to into our default um, theme, you'll notice that in the latest 6.0.2 version, we do not have the dist uh, folder, where else the, the previous one, the 6.0.1, does have it. The reason why we've um, created this new file structure is actually because as we've progressed with improving and extending and uh, adding new elements, new demos, and new assets into Metronic, what we've come to realize is our initial package, which is our zip file that you guys have downloaded from Team Forest, is growing bigger and bigger and bigger. And it may reach to a point where the package file will be way too big for anybody to download effectively. So what we've done here is we've removed the, uh, the compiled HTML uh, the compiled uh, assets and everything, and how uh, and and just package the core source of Metronic, which is this one right here. You see, all the sources, all the source are here. And what happens here is, you are uh, um, once you've downloaded and unpackaged Metronic into your computer, uh, what you can do is you can just run gulp, or you need to run uh, yarn to. To install all the dependencies and then run gulp, uh, gulp build, uh, which is uh, a new command. Run that and then what uh, what that does is it will compile and deploy or basically build the entire demo. So let's just have a look at the differences between the two. Um, for the for the latest version six point zero point two, if you look into the source folder and we versus the previous one, you can see that all our demos are actually packed into each, into each individual folder, whereas the, the old one, we only have the assets, which is the either the images or the JS or uh, SAS files. And even the JS and SAS files are uh, arranged or organized in a manner based on the element or component type or page type. In the latest version, all our demos, oh, sorry, all our assets are now within each uh, its own uh, root folder. For example, all our JS files, if you go to our source uh, assets, our JS files are all parked under the JS folder. And if you want to locate a certain JS file from a certain demo, because each demo has different JS files, for example, you can just go to our team and you go to our demos and it's, or it's again split up from there. So if you have a look in our SAS, it has the similar file structure. We have our bootstrap and vendors, which is our global, um, global uh, third party assets. And then if you go into theme and you have our core and pages, pages where is, is where our custom sits. And if you go to demo, you see all our demos, uh, basically all our SAS files that is related to that demo. All right, so next we would like to 
uh, show you guys what's the difference in terms of our build tool. In the latest version, our build tool is now uh, reparked into the, the tools folder instead of within the config folder. This is usually where we uh, adjust our our build. What we found out, or what we've done here, is we've removed the config folder and we just place the the build uh, the build file into the root of the tools. And if you just double click that, you'll see that the fields are exactly the same as our default.json in our previous versions, except for these two things up here, which just indicates the name and the current version of this build. So similar with previous versions, we can just type in our demo name and then it will compile that demo. One thing we'd like to mention here is if you have a look in our source and uh, our source, basically our source folder, you notice that we do not have a default demo anymore. We are we have renamed our default demo to demo one to just make it easier to read and to make uh, the files or the demos more sequential. So just bear in mind that um, demo, uh, the default demo is now renamed to demo one. Okay, so now uh, to run yarn, like uh, where, where, where do we run yarn? Similar to our previous versions, all you have to do is you just get into the tools folder and type in CMD at the top. For Max, you just uh, you have to open a terminal and navigate to the tools folder and then just type in yarn uh, as, as usual. So I'll let this run and get back to you once it's done. Okay, so our yarn is done, running is processed. Um, what we need to do now before we can test our theme is we need to run gulp. Now previously in our other previous in our previous versions, what we'll do is we just type in gulp and let it run. But for our new versions or from this version 6.0.2 and above, we'll need to type in gulp build. What this does is it will take it will basically do the same thing as our previous versions where it compiles all the assets into their proper uh, destinations destination folder and what it also does is it will grab all the HTML source from the source folder and then deploy it into each its own demo files so this let's have a look at what it does so let's run gulp build and maybe we can have a look at our as you can see our this folder is now being created So it's slowly building um, the, the demos one by one. And it's done building. So previously, uh, in our previous um, versions, all these files are pre-packaged within the zip. And from 6.0.2 onwards, we will not pre-package this anymore because like as mentioned in the beginning of this video where the files, all these files, and the moment we add like more demos, which we will, like say 20, 30, 40, 50 demos uh, into our package, this, all this will bloat our zip file to a point where it will be very difficult for you guys to download at one go. So we removed all these uh, demo files and we just, um, what we've done is we just package the uh, the source, the HTML source, the GS source, the SAS source, and our third party vendors and dependencies, and our build tool. And what you guys have to do is once you've downloaded uh, Metronic, you just have to unpackage it and rebuild it uh, within your, your machine. So once this is done, uh, we can just go have a look at our demo one, which is our default demo, and just have a look and edit run. So all you have to do is just double click it and just to test to see whether our, all our assets are, have been deployed successfully. Yep, so it's, it's loaded and 
everything works exactly the same as the Medtronic that you've come to know and love. Everything is here, all our demos are here, and everything's as it should. So what we've done here is we made Medtronic more efficient as a as a package, as a, a more efficient in terms of um, the initial download and also more efficient and more organized in terms of our demo organization or our file structure organization. So that's about it in this video. So please subscribe to us. We'll be creating new videos coming soon that introduces the Medtronic in terms of the the new file structure, uh, the new file structure on how you install it, how do you run it on your local host, and also maybe the uh, customizations in terms of SAS and JS, and also the uh, creation of your very first project using Medtronic 6.0.2 and above. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever we create a new video or release a new video, you get an update. Uh, follow us on our Twitter and Facebook and all our social media stuff, which we will link in the description below. And see you in the next video. Take care.